Hello and welcome. The goal of this session today is to really understand and get an overview of what some of the go forward possibilities are in the operating system landscape. Hi, my name is Kevin Lalek. I'm the original product manager for operating system and developer platform strategies here at Zebra for North America. So uh, before we get started, a couple of facts about the industry, right? We know that since 2010, the enterprise has made uh, significant investments in mobile technology in order to be able to run their businesses more effectively. Businesses have bought more than 15 million mobile devices out there in the market today. We also know that 99% of those devices that are in the hands of users today are based on this legacy operating system from Microsoft, either Windows Mobile or Windows CE. But we also know that Microsoft has announced their ending support of those legacy operating systems come 2020, which means change is inevitable. With that change, there are come choices. And when we look at the landscape of, of operating system choices that are out there, the, to kind of address this inevitability that our customers are gonna to have to change, there's a couple of choices that they're gonna be able to make. One is gonna be able to stick with their legacy platforms to be able to eke out all the investment that they made or to maximize the return on an investment. Doing such allows them to protect that investment even more. It allows them to divert funds to other areas of operation, but it also puts them at a little bit of a risk, okay? Knowing that end support ends in 2020, this is pretty much a dead end operating system. They're really not gonna be able to realize any significant productivity gains that a new, more modern platform can bring to the table. The other opportunity for customers is to go the route of a consumer operating system, that being either iOS or a consumer variant of Android. If a customer chooses to go on the path of iOS, it's all well and good. It's a sexy operating system. It's attractive, it's easy to use. There's a lot of end user experience of how that expectation is, is driven into the operating system of how they expect that technology to behave. Um, but there's, there's really no customization options that are available for that operating system. There's no open ecosystem that supports it. It is definitely a closed ecosystem. The only person or the only entity that can make changes to it is indeed Apple. The only entity that can manufacture devices for that ecosystem is Apple. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of choices that are out there. Uh, when it comes to accessories, it's an investment. It's uh, a significant investment that people have to make in order to be able to accessorize these devices to do scanning, to have extended batteries and so on. So there's, uh, you know, there's uh, that path that a customer may choose, but there's also a lot of risk associated with that path. The other thing that we see some uh, customers taking a look at is the consumer variant of Android. Uh, Android, we feel, is a very strong operating system going forward. Uh, however, you kind of run into the same ecosystem issues with a consumer variant of Android that you do with, a, with an iOS platform. And that's that it is an ecosystem you invest in from an accessory standpoint to be able to support those devices and so on. There's also an inherent uh, concern about security in the consumer variants of Android. Uh, this con concern about security around vulnerabilities, concern about security around being able to control operating system updates and even the user interaction of, of a device itself. But on that same Android thread, there's also the enterprise variant of Android. And that's something that we as Zebra really focus heavily on. Is, is providing the value, the experience, the, the longevity of Android as an operating system, but be able to build on top of that all the ecosystem controls, the control of the, the, the release variants of those operating systems, the control of those updates, and to enhance the capability of, of that Android open source platform to be able to be even more tightly secured, managed, and controlled that's more suitable to the enterprise. So the fourth choice that's out there from, from Windows, from sticking, uh, sticking with legacy or going to consumer or you know, thinking about Android Enterprise, the fourth choice out there is really Windows 10 IoT Mobile Enterprise. And that's the, the Microsoft variant of a future state operating system. Uh, it, it's, got, it's got a lot of good premise to it. It's got a lot of good capability in it. Uh, one of the promises of Windows 10 IoT Mobile Enterprise 
is this concept of the universal Windows platform, which means the developer can create an application which will run on a desktop, it'll run on a tablet, the same application will run on a mobile computer. That's great, and we as Zebra are also building devices that will support this platform going forward. However, it's not really well known out there in the field. It's not out in a while just yet. Uh, you know, there are some concerns about the longevity of it. Uh, you know, we'll see how the market drives the adoption of this platform going forward. But we as Zebra are, are again ready to support this uh, form with new devices that we see coming up in the future. But there's a, there's also not so many customization options that are available for developers that are out there. So. Uh, regardless of this choice that a customer makes or a partner makes in going forward with any of these choices, change is inevitable. Applications will have to be rewritten, even if for those customers that are waiting or holding out for Windows 10 IoT Mobile Enterprise. So as we wrap this up, change is inevitable. We are going to have to help our customers through this migration. We are going to have to make recommendations or coach them on some of these different choices that are out there. Uh, re regardless of, of the choice that's, that's made, uh, an investment will have to be made on behalf of the customer to make this, uh, this migration happen. Uh, Windows 10 Mobile is great for those customers that say, I am a Microsoft shop and I will continue to be that from end to end in my infrastructure. When it's enterprise ready, Zebra will be there. Uh, it, what makes sense for the future is really when we look at Android as an operating system, we have the ability to control that. We have the ability to be able to help our customers succeed adopting that as an operating system going forward. And either way a customer chooses whether they want to go Windows 10 IoT Mobile Enterprise or whether they want to go Android, they have the comfort in knowing that Zebra will be there regardless of the choice that they make in these operating systems going forward. We have the tools, we have the utilities, we have the support, and we have the talent to be able to support them as an enterprise going forward.